Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Ned from Nez Tech Bits, and today we have to drop on you the ultimate version of Doom 2 for your very own pregnancy tester. Oh, that's right, friends. There has been an individual who is great with older technologies, and he has managed to find a way to get Doom to run on a pregnancy tester. Here we can see he's got the Pregger tester, but apparently the thing is he just has this as an output model right now. Jeez, you can see that guy running around there. That's freaking crazy. So once again, it just outputs to the video screen. The video screen is, of course, really low quality, but it just blows your mind that he can actually manage to do this. Of course, there's no sound system set up. I'm trying to get more information on exactly how we set it up. But uh, he must really know these levels. Look how easily he is going through these places. That's just freaking amazing. You can see that imp right straight up. That's crazy. That's freaking crazy. And then we got the iconic door coming up. That's right. Yes, friends. Running Doom 2 or running Doom on anything is all that anybody wants to know. Will it run Doom? So yeah, if it's old and obscure, everyone asks, will it run Doom? If it's new, everyone wants to know, will it run Fortnite and Grand Theft Auto 5? But you want to know what? If I was stuck on a desert island and I had to choose one of those things, I think I might just go with the Doom series instead of uh, the others. So here's the individual that brought it all together, Mr. Phone. Here we have Mr. Phone saying that yesterday I had a lot of retweets and Reddit posts such for playing doom on a pregnancy tester but as i explained it then i uh, wasn't playing it on a pregnancy tester it was just a video being played back not an interactive game huh well now it is the pregnancy tester of doom so yeah uh so the pregnancy tester i'm pretty sure isn't compiling this i think it is just I could be wrong. I could be very wrong, but I think it's just the video output that's being put on on here. Oh, wait a second. He had to replace the pregnancy tester CPU and LCD. Okay, that's the nuance. That's the nuance. And here he has it clicked into a board. So yeah, he was just using the video output. Uh, the existing CPU can't be reprogrammed and the existing LCD can only show four things. So I had to replace both of it to make uh, any changes. Yeah, okay. So he basically ripped everything out of a pregnancy tester and uh, put a little unit in. But hey, you can get that stuff by on, uh, on Twitter. So here's a shot of the original pregnancy uh, checkerator. That's all it would do, and that's all I would think it would do. But still, as a pregnancy tester, maybe it still can't tell you if it's uh, if you're pregnant or not. But uh, yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> okay. Anyways, that's it for me, folks. Net from Nestac. But like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciated. And as always, folks, have a good one.